The Cricut Bright Pad was given to me by Cricut. Hi, I'm Ann from Ann Makes Welcome. In today's video, I want to show you how easy it is to make a protective pouch to store your Cricut Bright Pad. You can see how I made my own pouch, my own version, out of some felt. So stay tuned. Since I created my own pattern for this, it was a bit of a trial and error project. So in the end, what I recommend using are two sheets of felt, the ones that measure about 11 and a half inches by nine inches. I, ch I had some with a pretty print pattern, so that's what I chose. And for the borders, I had these solid colored felts that came in a roll. They were approximately five inches wide and I cut them down the center. So the strip, the pink strips that you see actually measured about 12 inches long and two and a half inches wide. After I've cut all the pieces, I pin them securely together before I take them over to my sewing machine. I want to pin um, the two, two sides so I can just keep on sewing. And remember that whatever I am doing here to one piece of felt needs to be done to the other. So you will have two panels, two complete panels when you are done. Note that in this video you're watching me pin pieces of felt together and the pink pieces are too long uh, for what I really needed to do. But I did that in order to demonstrate exactly what I was pinning for you because it was a little hard to see white on, on white. And I do cut off the extra bits later. Now I'm ready to sew the felt pieces together to create one large panel. Uh, it's just a simple straight stitch. I had mine set at 2.5 and it's just a regular sewing machine, regular sewing needle, regular thread. Nothing complicated or fancy and just stitch straight down the side of the largest piece of felt. And I like to tack my ends or make like knots so I just go in reverse on my sewing machine to do that. And just do the other side. I sewed uh, this with a 5 8 seam and I was happy with the result. My uh, case or pouch fits snugly uh, around my uh, Cricut Bright Pad. At this stage, uh, you can pin the other two strips to the other two sides. And note that because I had that extra length left on the side pieces, I could have possibly done some mitered corners, but I thought I would keep it more simple uh, just to make this as easy a project as possible. So I recommend you just cut off those extra long ends if you happen to cut them too long like I did. And just sew straight down uh, the side there to hold the pink band to the print felt. With, again with a 5 8, 5 8 inch seam and you will be all set. I make it a habit of when I'm sewing to cut off any 
extra thread lengths that are left uh, after sewing a seam. It's just, I just find it easier to cut the threads as I am going along. Now you've made one panel, just make a second one, and then we go to press the seams open. I recommend using an iron and press cloth or a clean dish towel to press open all the seams of each panel. This will reduce the amount of bulk that you will have once you flip over the pouch. So all you have to do now is to sew three edges together, remembering to leave one end open because that's where you will slip in the Cricut Pride Pad. And once you've sewn the three sides, don't forget to clip your threads, clip off any extra fabric that cre would create bulk, and turn it inside out, inside out or outside in, <laughs> just like you would a pillowcase. You can use uh, a pencil or some blunt scissors to make nice points inside the corners there of the case. Now all you have to do is insert your Cricut Bright Pad. And now your Cricut Bright Pad is well protected in a very cute cover of its very own. Enjoy! For more information regarding the felt pouch that I made for my Cricut Bright Pad, uh, please go to my blog at annmakes.blogspot.com. There are measurements and more detail and a little bit more details about exactly how I put this together. I want to thank you so much for watching the second video in this series of videos and I hope you'll come back to see the third video that I have about how to use your bright pad to help you trace and create some art of your own. Thank you so much for watching. I would appreciate a like, a comment, and a share. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed and click on the bell so you will be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.